Hello, welcome to Blender Time. Today I want to share with you the methods I use to bring blueprints into Blender for modeling. For example, I want to model a car. I have the car's front, back, side and top blueprints. This is how I add them into Blender. Let's begin. First, I will bring in the front blueprint. Place the mouse cursor in the 3D viewport. On the number pad press 5 once or twice for orthographic, then press 1 for front view. At top left press add. Image. Background. Navigate to where you kept your blueprints. Choose the front blueprint. Click load background image. The front blueprint is now in Blender. You can press S to scale the blueprint. You can press R to rotate. On the right side of the screen, press the object data icon. Place mouse cursor on the size field. Left click and drag to adjust blueprint size. You can adjust transparency by left click and drag on the transparent field. You can offset the blueprint left and right. And also up and down. I will now rotate the viewport. As you can see, the blueprint is behind the cube. It doesn't obstruct the cube. This is because the depth option is set to back. If I choose front, the blueprint will now be in front of the cube. If I choose default, the blueprint will be intersecting the cube. I will click the back tab to put the depth option back to where before we adjust it. I will now click one on the number pad to put the viewport back to front orthographic view. Remember, this front blueprint was added into Blender when we were in front orthographic view. I will now click Ctrl-1, for back orthographic view. As you can see, the blueprint disappeared. This is because the side option here is set to front. If I now click the back button, the blueprint will appear in back view. I will now press 1 to go to front orthographic view. As you can see, the blueprint disappeared. This is because the side option here is set to back. At the side option here, I will now click the both tab. I go to the back orthographic view by pressing Ctrl 1 on the number pad. As you can see, the blueprint appears in both the front and the back orthographic view. I will now click the front tab. I press 1 to go back to the front orthographic view. As expected, the blueprint appears. I will now go into front perspective view by pressing 5 on the number pad. The blueprint disappeared. This is because the display perspective option box is unchecked. I will now click on it. The blueprint appears in perspective view. So if for example you cannot see your front blueprint. First, press 1 to go to the front view. Then in the outliner, click on this small arrow next to the empty. Select the front blueprint. Now click the object data button. Check both the display orthographic and display perspective boxes. You should be able to see the blueprint in the viewport. I will now show you how to add the rest of the blueprints into Blender. First, I will add the back blueprint into Blender. I press 5 once or twice to go into orthographic, then press Ctrl 1 for back view. At top left, press add button. Image. Background. Navigate to where I kept my blueprints. Choose the back blueprint. Click load background image. The back blueprint is now added into Blender. Now to load the side blueprint. First check to see whether your blueprint is the right side, or the left side of your model. If it is the right side, press 3 on the number pad to go into the right view. If the blueprint is the left side of your model, then press Ctrl 3 on the number pad to go into the left view. My blueprint is the right side of my model, so I press 3 for right view. Then I press the Add button. Image. Background. Navigate to where I kept my blueprints. Choose the right blueprint. Click Load Background Image button. The right blueprint is now in Blender. To load the top blueprint, I press 7 for top view. Press the add button. Image. Background. 
Navigate to where I kept my blueprints. Choose the top blueprint. Click load background image button. The top blueprint is now in Blender. To confirm all the blueprints are actually in Blender, I press 1 for front view. Now I press Ctrl 1 for back view. Then I proceed by pressing 3 for the right side view, and finally pressing 7 for the top view. Now I will rotate the viewport to show you how the blueprints look in Blender. To tidy things up, I will put all the blueprints into a collection. To do this, I go to the outliner. To create a collection, I will right click, then click new. I press shift and left click on all these empty to select them. These are the blueprints we added into Blender earlier. Then I drag them into the collection. Now I can simply click on the collection eye icon to hide and show the blueprints. It is recommended you rename the blueprints and the collection so that they make sense. Now the blueprints are set up and you can begin modeling. We can add images into Blender using the reference and the background options. Here, I like to show you some of the differences. First, I will add an image in using the reference option. In 3D viewport, I press 5 once or twice to go into orthographic. Then press 1 for front view. Click on add, then go down to image. Click on reference. I navigate to the blueprint and select it. Click on the load reference image button. This blue image is loaded in using the reference option. In the outliner, I rename the empty to reference. Then click the eye to hide it. Now, I will add an image in using the background option. Click on add, then go down to image. Click on background. I navigate to the blueprint and select it. Click on the load background image button. Now I will rotate the viewport. Notice the yellow image is behind the cube object. It disappeared as I rotate the viewport toward the back of the cube. Now I hide the yellow image and show the blue image. This blue image was added into Blender using the reference option. As I rotate the viewport, you can see the blue image is intersecting the cube. Take note that if I select the cube and then tab into edit mode, I will be able to see the vertices behind the image. I can also select the vertices and move them. I press Ctrl Z to undo all the changes. Press Tab to go back to object mode. I will now press 1 on number pad for front view. Then select the blueprint. On the right side of the window, click on object data icon. Observe the depth. Side. Display orthographic and display perspective sections. Pay attention to which tabs are selected and which tabs are not selected when I switch between images. I will now select the image loaded into Blender using the background option. I will now select the image loaded into Blender using the reference option. One more time. Selecting the background option. Now selecting the reference option. These settings are what control the behavior of the images you brought into Blender. You can adjust these settings anytime to suit you modeling needs. Now I want to show you the render behaviors of these images. The yellow image was added in using the background option. The blue image was added in using the reference option. The cube has a simple red material. I have also added in a camera and a sun into the scene. At top right, I will now click on the 3D rendered button. As you can see, the images are visible in viewport render. I will now switch to solid mode. I press 0 on the number pad for camera view. Only the image added in using reference option is visible. This is because the image's display perspective option is checked. Now I will render the image by clicking on the render tab and choose render image. As you can see, only the cube is rendered. Both the yellow and the blue images are not rendered. I personally think Blender 2.8 has a better system for adding blueprints than Blender 2.79. Please let us know what you think on the comment section below. 
I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more on how to set up blueprints. If you want to support me and this channel, all you have to do is click the like and the subscribe buttons. I will be uploading more tutorials very soon. Thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you again. Till then, have a great day.